Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Place Persona 5 Royal. Today we are gonna go hang out with Yusuke, because he's the only one that loves us. We could, in turn, go ahead and work on some social stats, but I think we're doing all right, except for Makoto who wants a max charm stat, even though I have a max charm stat in heart. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and hang out with Yusuke. We just need proficiency to get the rank 4. Then we can do a Big Bang challenge. And then I'll focus Charm after that, sure. We also need to work the Flower Shop, don't we? I think we need to work the Flower Shop. Uh, what are your plans? Uh, simply waiting isn't very fun. People watching hasn't fared too well either. I'll be in the station for a while, so let me know if something comes up. Uh, sure. Do you... You do want to rank up. I'm pretty sure I saw the up thing. Hmm. By the way, uh, I came to see you. <laughs> I'm still unsatisfied with what happened at the expedition. I have thought a great deal about it, and well, there is something I would like to try painting. Do you think you would be free to help? Uh, sure. I'm in your debt. I know. Now then, our destination is in Ino Kashira Park. Let's uh, let us go. Thank you. No, no problem. Uh, thank you for your assistance today. After all, it would be impossible to sketch while rowing. Uh, <laughs> I should bring a girl here. Um. Hmm. No. Why are we on a boat? What are we doing here? I mean, he wants the paint, right? I should bring a girl here. You know what? Fine. What? A girl? Does that mean you have a girlfriend? You should have mentioned sooner. I have missed the opportunity for a truly wonderful subject. That aside, I must thank you for your help today. This is the ideal location for my next motif. Motif. Oh, look at all the ducks! They're so cute! <laughs> Don't get so excited. You'll fall off, you know. Perfect, this is it. My previous painting captured only one aspect of the heart, desire. As such, I was unable to arrive to at a truly authentic representation. That is why we have come today. I shall paint a second aspect, the burning passion between man and woman. <laughs> Fittingly, our theme today will be the wonders of love. You too will be an important role here. While I draw, ensure the boat remains as steady as possible amid these devilish ripples. Ah, this angle. Incredible. <laughs> that bashful side profile, those moist eyes, their overwhelming fl overflowing passion in, is wholly evident. Uh, they are akin to Adam and Eve, yet in time all lovers must come to know the pain of separation. Separation is the natural end to any such relationship, but even beyond that, love endures. Precisely. This is the truth of the human heart. Shuckle, it will make the most wonderful painting. It shall be adored by all who gaze upon it. It may even be given top prize in the next expedition. Ex ex exhibition. 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 You can, you can keep saying it all you want, Kronos. It might still come out wrong next time. Wait, now is not the time to be thinking of such trivial matters. Hey. Can you please remain still? What? Return to your prior angle. I must capture your profile. What the hell are you doing? Rejoice, for I shall preserve your beautiful love so that all coming generation may bask in its glory. Once I complete this painting, you will become new legends in the art world, a modern Adam and Eve. Le le legends? Art? The dude's off his rocker. Come on, let's report him. Hold on a second, are you drawing us? What? You're using us as models? Yes. A man and a woman intimately swaying in the dinghy of dreams, the blush of their cheeks, the bashful looks. Yes, this is the love I was so emphatically searching for. Love? I guess you could call it that, but it's kind of weird. It's familiar love. This here's my sister. Oh, I told you I didn't want to come here with you. The only ones who do this crap are stupid couples. But I've always dreamed of coming to, to, to Tokyo and riding a boat here. Though it was supposed to be with my boyfriend, not my brother. How could this be? Well, it is a JRPG. Familial. 
So that overflowing passion was just the figment of my imagination? It seems my bias has caused me to overlook the truth of the matter. Uh... Love comes in all forms? Love is a broad, multifaceted beast. This only serves to prove how narrow my perception my, my perceptive can be. I see. Perspective. There we go. Uh, romantic and romantic love, familiar love. The two may be nigh indiscernible depending on one's point of view. Uh, perhaps the truth of the heart lies in the eye of the beholder. Alex, I feel as though I've learned something today. That you should have painted me and Kawakami? Rank four, Ark Talk. Alright. Wait, so only couples ride these things, right? That means those two... Shh, there are people from all walks of life in the city. Oh, tell me more! <laughs> what are they talking about? Oh, well, come. It is ti about time we return home. Please row us back to shore, Alex. See you. Well, it was a romantic date. That's for sure. Not the most romantic date I've been on. Alex, thank you for all your help today. I've certainly come to realize my lack of experience. I would love- would it would seem I understand nothing of love at all. Though I've progressed by one step, there is no doubt I will face many difficulties moving forward. When will I truly understand the heart? Even if I- uh, even, even if I ever do understand it, will I truly be able to draw it? Uh, you lack love- you lack love yourself. Don't be discouraged. Just keep drawing. Don't get discouraged. You're right. I have no intention whatsoever of giving up. I will do everything in my power to get past this. Anywho, today was a significant use of our time. Impressive romanship from your end as well. I hope I can count on you next time as well. For now, farewell. I wonder if I can bring, like, Kawakami there. I would assume not, right? Because she doesn't want to be seen in public with me. Hot. Just relatable. But at the same time, who wants to hang out tonight? Uh, are you much for arcade, shogi, or for billiards? I mean, I should do billiards at some point, but like, hey. no. I already checked the plan. Where am I going? Um, let's see. So Akechi wants to level up for one. So it doesn't hafu me. I guess I should level up Akechi then, right? Um. Oh. So she's not there. She's not there tonight? Does she not work weekends? Because I feel like I... Was I supposed to get a love affinity reading? And even then, I should probably do one for Sojuro at some point as well. Well, let's just check it out real fast. Alright, so she was here, and I got one for Sojuro. Um... Next one I think will be for On, because I think she needs it as well. Akechi, what up, dog? How are you feeling about arcades? How do you feel about arcades? I was strolling through one the other day, and I found myself drawn to a certain game. Perhaps the two of us could have a little competition. <clears throat> okay, sure. Uh, go see him. Uh, that's what I like to hear. In that case, let's go to the arcade in Kichijoji. It's a bit difficult to find, so let's meet up first. I didn't see an arcade in Kichijoji, but apparently there is one here. Sorry for dragging you out here. I was out here gathering intel, and I noticed some patrons playing this. I did a bit of research. Apparently, it's a pretty hardcore shooter game. Do you normally play games like these? Um... No? Well, I played one with Makoto. But... Well, actually, didn't Makoto kick my ass, too? So I guess I'm not that great at these. Well, that should be even in the playing field. I'm not much for video games myself, so I guess I'm in the same boat. Dots? Damn, that's some accuracy. That guy with the brown here isn't wasting a single shot. Glasses isn't doing too bad, either. But he's definitely losing ground. Oh, my fingers are going to be sore tomorrow. What a realistic game. Um, are you used to gunplay? Have you noticed? Oh, you noticed? Well, I'll need as much practice as I can get if I'm going to take you out. Only a joke. I'm new to this, I'm afraid. Perhaps we'll chalk it up to beginner's luck. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Still, this still... This did feel a bit nostalgic for me. 
I had a toy gun like this when I was young, you know. All this reminded me all this reminded me of running around the house with it playing hero. Uh do, 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 do. hard to imagine. Uh, uh, you wanna be a hero? I don't know. That I'm not I agree. totally certain. But thinking back, I suppose I must have. But there are different kinds of heroes, of course. Different stances they define themselves by. For example, well, one might stick to the vision of justice they believe in, even if others deny it, while another may simply do as others desire of them, seeking to be recognized and gratified as a hero. So, which of those fits more with your conception of a hero? Uh, sticking to your own justice. <laughs> well, I had a feeling you'd say that. But if nobody else wants the justice they fight for, isn't that just blind self-righteousness? I apologize. Huh, sorry, I suppose that was a strange tangent. Pardon me. Whenever I talk with you, I just can't help delving into those abstract topics. I mean, sure. Rank five. All right. Goodness, I worked up a sweat playing that game. I must smell like the arcade now. Welcome to the club. I could use a shower. Why don't we go? Go. I thought I thought you were just gonna say, "Why don't we go hit the showers?" But I'm like, where? Your place? Cause there's no showers here. We will meet again. Sure. Maybe in the showers. I mean, there are public baths, so I guess that wouldn't be too far of a stretch. Hey, I want to express my gratitude again for today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I had quite a lot of fun. I don't play these games too often, so I honestly wasn't sure how I'd do. Hopefully I didn't come off as too much of a novice. I wish I had played better. Uh... You did fine. <laughs> really? I'm honored that you think so. I mean, weren't you like... Getting the high score, or something like that, they were saying. I suppose I've already been quick to grasp the fundamentals of everything, but that's always also been a concern for me. There is this constant pressure. Everyone expects me to be capable of anything, which is stressful in and of itself. Still, games are rather fun. It was quite a novel experience. Usually I just read it in my leisure time. However, it offered more realism than I expected, and I was impressed by how immersive it felt. Usually, I feel I really struggle with enjoying the same pastimes as my peers, but thanks to you, I had fun today. Hope you can join me again if you get the chance. Now, I'll talk to you later. I mean, sure. You want to get a PlayStation? Not as immersive sometimes, depending on the game. Oh, I gotta press these? Okay. I'm like waiting for this goddamn thing to load. How many days do we have left? I mentioned going to Memento soon, but one, I'm gonna wait till we get Fortune's Confidant quest, I think. And two, I'm gonna wait until we get the next story moment, as in like Medjed's done and, you know, wait for Fatapa to recover, because that's when the next area opens up, right? So, we'll wait for that to take place, and we'll probably have more quests by the time Let's that actually it. happens. Uh, that was not the menu. What quests do we have right now? I'm calling Justice for Cats. I learned about the cat abuser. Okay. We are just your slaves. Sure. Who's been assaulting people? Right, so I gotta work the flower shop at some point. Uh, probably multiple times, too. I think I worked there once, yes. On does not want to level up. Zoomy, though I'm stuck there for right now. Let's go get on some points. I guess I should have got on points yesterday. Oh, it's Sunday too, right? Uh, do I want to spend an extra $5,000 to get an extra point on spending $5,000? No. Oh, but you know what? It's Sunday, right? And we have Sunbro, which is a charm boost. Which, the, those boosts usually give a ton of, like, more charm than the, the single drink one, right? So let's get a charm boost and a Lover's Affinity reading. Okay, so I got the Charm Boost, I got the Affinity for On, who actually wants to level up now, which is fantastic to me. Uh, what was this? This wasn't Charm, was it? 
That would be fantastic if it was, though. Proficiency. I mean, I need proficiency, so that's not too far off. Uh, what rank is on, too? She's rank 7. Okay, so she's close to maxed out, which is great. Uh, I guess we could just talk to her on the thing of Bob. What are we doing today? I can't just sit around, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm coming. And you're going to level up. And I don't know if you learn anything at rank 8. A good point. Do you learn anything at rank 8? You do! Endure! Oh, that's the best kind! We'll just have to wait for now. Yeah, just kill time. Uh, well, I was thinking of getting into shape, and who know who's better to help with that than Ryuji, right? I don't know, anyone? Why don't we join it? And why don't you join it too, Alex? We can train together. Sure. Why not? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Alex actually have already been to this gym. It's pretty sweet, huh? Not to mention people getting it. Not too many people getting in your way. Anyways, what are you trying to do here? Yes. I want to slim down. Huh. huh, you try jogging? Acrobatics alone aren't enough. I want to tone up too, so I need to start lifting weights. Plus, my shoulders are drooping, I want to make my biceps leaner, and I need to straighten my back out. Obviously, I want to cut down on my waist size too, and firm my butt and calves. Uh... <laughs> you know what? You're beautiful as is. Maybe, but even natural beauty has room to improve. Okay, natural beauty? Uh, well, you're talking about yourself. But anyways, motivation's good and all, but you're not going to be able to move tomorrow if you do all that shit. Hmm. Then come up with a training regimen for me. Uh, you're such a pain. <laughs> if you do that, I'll go on a date with you as a reward. F that. Uh, quit thinking you're some sexy character in an anime. It's sad watching you like that. Seriously? What? No way, man. First off, one of them sexy characters never come to a gym in their PE uniform. How am I supposed to know that? I've never even been to a gym before. Oh, it's my agency. Oh, hi, yo, yes, definitely. Uh, even a small article would be great. Huh, it fell through? Yeah, I guess that's okay, uh-huh. I was supposed to be in two magazines this month after that, after next, the month after next, but apparently one canceled on me. It was a black and white shoot, so they said I wouldn't stand out. It sounded like fun, though. It was about everyday, everyday life of models. I guess you just gotta find somewhere you can stand out then. Huh. There has to be somewhere my vibrant charm will shine, right? Um. There's no doubt in my mind. <laughs> Good luck finding it. Uh. There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Where? By the way. Hey, speaking of magazines, there was a pretty girl in that one you said you were starring in. She got this innocent vibe, but she's sexy too. Now that's what a real charm looks like to me. Were there photos of me too? Uh, yeah. And did she have long brown hair? Yeah, that's the one. You know her? Oh, you gotta introduce me, dude. Uh, you dick! Of all the girls you could have been talking about, you just had to be Mika. Oh, I'm so pissed. Come on, which machine are we using first? I'm gonna break it. You know, Reggie, there's a time and a place. Though, to be fair, I actually feel bad for you on that one, because you did not know that she was having issues with that lady. <sighs> My body hurts, but for some reason I feel satisfied. That's what working hard feels like. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that was actually pretty fun. I think it was because the two of you were here with me. I had to prove I was working extra hard. <laughs> it's simple stuff like that that will keep you pushing. I mean, it's not wrong, right? If you go to gym with groups of people, you normally will be able to do more. It really depends on the personality type too, right? If you're like the chatty Kathy, and you guys are just talking at machines and not doing your workouts, that's bad. But if you're people that can motivate one another, that's good. Damn it, I wish I had thought of that. Uh, this ain't a competition. It's always a competition. Ah, oh, crap, for real? Mom forgot to buy stuff for dinner, so I guess I gotta head home now. See you guys. How do you forget to buy stuff? You like, you forget one thing? Or like, all of it? If it's one thing, I understand. If she forgot to buy dinner in general? How? Ruji can't say no when his mom needs help, huh? 
I'm actually a little jealous of the relationship they have. I mean, even growing up, my parents were super busy. They always told me I was strong, that I'd be fine on my own. I was free, but I was lonely. I'd make friends, but we'd move a lot, and every time I had to start over again. I actually got used to be the loneliness. But that all changed was we met Chiho. The world seemed so hopeful. I heard her rehab is going well. She's going to be officially transferred to transfer school soon, too. Hey. I need to show her that I'm working hard, and that she doesn't need to worry about me. Um... You know what? I'm sure she already knows, yeah. Yeah! Right! She needs to see how much I've learned from her. Woo, endure. Alright. So we get two more until she Pokemon evolves, and then we're done with her. Let's get back. Come on, let's go home. I might have trouble moving, though. My legs are killing me. All moderation, right? You don't want to go full steam every workout you do, because you could hurt yourself for one. And two, it's kind of counterproductive, kind of right? The harder you, like, if you completely destroy your body, and you plan on working out the next day, too, but you screw up so much, or you, you worked out so much that you don't have any energy to actually put in a decent workout, then you kind of messed it up, right? Doing one body part at a time, good idea. Well, not even one body part, like one section, like lower, upper, back, that sort of stuff. Oh, Alex, it's me. I know, call ID. Uh, oh, my muscles are so sore right now. Going home took me more than twice as long as usual. But I'm really proud of the work I put in today. I would have just given up if I went alone. So I'm glad I had you guys with me. You two are the best. I know. I wonder if this is how Shio felt with her rehab, being able to push herself because someone was there with her? Um... You know what? Yeah. You could ask her yourself. Wait, but what if she flat out denied it? <laughs> That'd be so sad and embarrassing! But well, no matter what, I'm gonna be gonna stay by Shio's side. I wanna stick with her until the very end. Not much time left until Shio switches school. I need uh, all my own coolness so she can take off without worrying about me. Oh, God. Ah, I forgot how sore I was. Sorry, but I better go get some rest for now. Bye-bye. Alright, so we got Sunbro tonight. Man, it's hot. I know, it's a scorcher. You always say that. Home Shopping Network. What do we have? The Phantom Thieves set. That sounds like my kind of set. I mean, to be fair, that set kind of sucks. Okay, the set's better than that. So let's get the Phantom Thief set. Hey, hey! It's not that expensive. Okay, so. Who wants to hang out? <laughs> Lala Chan. Um, okay, so remember what I said? So you want to level up now, huh? Wari, Yoshida. So yeah, you want to level up now. And Lala Chan wants me to come work, right? But I think we're going to go talk to Yoshida and finish him off. Let's uh, check Lala Chan's one, because... Yeah, it's just the work one. Okay, so let's go to Yoshida then. And this should be his last one. Uh, how, are you how are you doing? The key to says his healthy b heart and body. Come to think of it, I haven't told you what it is I aspired to do. And aside from that, there have been some incidents. I'm thinking of telling you everything. Would you be willing to listen? Uh, yeah? Thank you. My speech... Uh, let's talk before my speech, then. I'll be waiting in the station square. A weekly magazine reported that Kuramoto was the real culprit in the fund's misappropriation case. Woo! Old man Kuramoto will likely be forced to retire from the political world. It only took 20 years! The police can't do anything because it was 20 years ago. But he has a moral obligation. Is that the statute of limit limitations on embezzlement? embezzlement? I hear his grandson, Benzo, resigned from the party as well. Uh. It could be due to Matsushita's influence, or perhaps it's just the party's way of atoning. Now it's all up to me and my abilities. When's your speech going to start, Taranasuke? We can't wait! To think that people would be excited to hear me speak. Well, good for you. 
Technically, it was all my doing. I didn't want the real culprit to be named, even though I knew who it was. Apparently, people admire me for having quietly accepted a false charge for 20 years. Which is just dumb. <laughs> now, I mean, I understand if you had all these people against you, so you were just like, you know, I'm not going to waste my time and energy fighting against this, even though you did, kind of, with the whole, the whole weekly speeches and stuff like that, I guess. But for people who admire the fact that you were falsely accused and just kind of accepted it is kind of dumb to me. I didn't intend for any of this to happen, though. Uh, your true self has been has revealed. Uh, was revealed. You're going to be popular. Don't let your guard down. Let's go with that one. Yes, I'll be careful not to make a slip of the tongue. I meant more like, be cautious of who you trust. I've struggled for the past 20 years, but I can put that all behind me after the election. Cool. Oh, look at the time. I should get started. Today will be the last day I'll request help from a phantom thief. I don't intend to meddle. But here we go. Everything I've told you has been based on assumptions. But if you're still willing to listen, then I think you should focus on your work. Because the time is now. Dude, I'm trying to, but I, I got like uh, 13 days left until I the story progresses. I can't anything else to teach you. You are now an expert on giving speeches. You tell that to goddamn Makoto, then. I taught you all I know about the art of public speaking in return for you supporting a guy like me. And over time, you became someone who shared my beliefs. Thanks to you, I was able to overcome my crisis these last few months. I will strive for the royal road of politics, thinking of you as you walk down your own path. But if you ever find yourself in harm's way on your journey, I will be there to help you. Hey, if you get into office, I'll definitely call you on that. We'll be comrades who reform the world together. Also, dude, if they find this out, you're going to be blackballed again, pretty much. I am thou. Thy bond shall be thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the sun, granting thee infinite power. Is it Solaire? That would be dope. <laughs> just you can now fuse the Solaire persona. All right. Allow to use the form contract with higher level shadows. I'm gonna use that. All right. Well, last palace and mementos, but whatever. Ashura, Ashura. Okay. I'm sure you will accomplish everything you set out to do. Probably. Thank sure you. is good, everything. isn't it? All right. It's time to begin. Yoshida's speech is about to start. I cut my date short so I could watch this, you know? That's sad. Does anyone out there have something they aspire to do? I met a certain young man. And I forced him to hold this sign. Through a method that differs from mine, he was trying to reform the world. As you know, that is a very large mountain to cross. Some would say impossible to reform the entire world. Unfortunately, I am unable to travel the same path as him. However, I will not say goodbye, because we will surely meet at the peak. He is desperately doing what he aspires to do. So I encourage you all, please find what it is that you aspire to do, and I will support you. Because that is what I aspire to do. Am I gonna get charm for this? Kinda Play hope so. I believe in you. Okay, good. Give me my charm. Oh god, who is it? It's use case, so it probably means it's uh, it's a DVD that talks about painting. What? Okay, well you can you can use my DVD player when I'm not with you. So I assume that means you don't want to level up, right? Yes, I know. He called me at one in the morning. For some reason. Nice. 
On wants to level up. Okay, I guess we're gonna go hang out with On then. Sure. Uh, eventually, you know what? I should get another Sojo uh, affinity reading. Eventually, though, I am gonna want to work at the flower, but I guess we can finish off On first. Because after we finish up on, there's going to be one open slot during the days, right? She only has two left. So we'll get one more reading for Sojuro, just to make sure that when it's available, he'll be able to level up. And then... We can go hang out with on. Yes. Sure, there's so many goddamn confidants. I need to hang out with Mishima as well. I'm assuming this dude's gonna come available when we get out of summer break. I would, I would think, <laughs> I would think he's gonna be coming available after we get out of summer break. It's been like two months, I think, since the last time we hung out with him. So yeah, I don't know. And we need charm for you, Makoto. And Yusuke will probably be uh, our focus. Uh, Yusuke create any skill card he's copied before. Oh, cool. That's actually really useful. If I can get a good card for him to copy. I mean, we got that revive spell one, but... I think, like, a null card, if they're available, or... Something would make... More sense to wait for, but then again, when am I gonna get one of those? We need to work on strength. I'm gonna do that next time we go to Mementos, I think. Because we should, I think, at this point, be able to uh, rank it up a couple times. All right, on. Let's get you some rank nine attention. Just have to wait for now. Uh, do you have the time? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for your concern. Uh, the truth is, Shio is moving away today, and before she goes, she wants to see the school roof again. I know it's a day off, but I called and said we want to get some books, so we should be able to get in. It's still hard for Shiho to climb stairs, though, so do you think you could help me carry her? I mean... Why do we have to go to the roof? <laughs> Han, Alex Jun, I'm pretty heavy, huh? Thanks for the help. Hey. Isn't Alex super reliable? <laughs> yeah, just like you were telling me. We're so high up. Why did you want to come up here? I think to settle things. To tell you the truth, I wanted to reenact that moment. Wearing these clothes, standing here again. I want to know what it would feel like. What about back then? What were you thinking? I, I didn't want to die. I just needed to escape. It was like another person inside me was screaming, tell me to come up here. It almost felt like that person was trying to kill me. Oh. But I know that person was part of me too, my weakness. So I wanted to see if she would show up again. And... And? Yeah. She doesn't exist anymore. She's so strong, Shiho. The only reason you can stand here now is because of how hard you worked for your, for your rehab. Maybe, but that was all thanks to you, On. Huh? Because I saw how hard you were trying, too. Trying to be strong, to be cool, wanting to be an action star, starting to be a better model. You were so positive, your eyes sparkled with motivation. With you putting that much effort in, I couldn't just let my life go to waste in a hospital bed. That's why I wanted to stay in again. It was because of you. Being able to change others, that's what true strength is. Shiho. I'm not strong. Oh, God, I'm gonna be crying. I'm nothing without you. I'm just a lonely, scared girl. On. I'm sorry for deciding this, deciding for chance of school. Shiho. Yeah, I was like. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't be like. You should probably say, like, no, it's alright. I understand. Because obviously, like, you wanna get out of here. Totally. Like, understandably. Yeah, understandably. Even with Kamashido gone, I would not wanna come back. To this place if I were you. I'm, I'm going to become a role model. A real model. Uh, that's why he'll be able to keep seeing me and keep giving life your all. 
helps get me in a bunch of magazines and I'll say tons of good stuff in interviews. So, so stay healthy, work hard, but not too much and keep in touch. Just take care of yourself. I mean, you guys are gonna still be friends. Like, even if she does transfer school, you guys have the internet and you'll be able to s travel to each other eventually. I love you. Once I can smile again from the bottom of my heart, I'll come visit. Yeah. Shio left with her family. Hey. I need to be the number one model around. I made promise to Shio, so there's no turning back now. I'm gonna study how to be to properly exercise and even relearn how to walk the runway. I want to pick up on some other languages and cultures too, so I can start doing overseas events. Because well, the only way I can help Shio is to show her how hard I'm working. I believe in you. Yeah. <laughs> If I can do that, she help, she'll definitely... Damn it, I told myself I wouldn't cry. It's just, I won't won't stop. I should choose my words carefully. I'm already in a relationship with another girl. I guess I'm alone again, huh? You have me! And Kawakami. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did I just say that? She said I love you. You said I love you. What? I said what? I... I mean, yeah, I said it. Baka. And I meant it, too. I really love you. I, like, really, really. Now for an awkward hug. I'm now in a relationship with Vaughn. I'm a horrible person. All right. You form a romantic relationship, and the skill she unlocks is the one where she jumps in front of a bullet for you. Oh, God. I guess we're more than just friends now. It's embarrassing. Wait. Oh, let me go! Are you trying to kill me? Maybe. Oh, um, I, uh, I just want to thank you for coming with me today. I don't think I would have been able to express myself that honestly if you haven't been there. Thanks to you being there, I get myself to really open up to Shiho. Also, I, uh, was too nervous to ask this after we left the roof, but will you stay by my side forever? I kind of need you to at this point. Oh, don't try to force me, but, like, I guess, sure. G good It's a promise! No take-backs! <laughs> no saying it was just a joke! I'll stay by your side, too, and I'll never let you go, so I hope you're ready. Man, this escalated, like, really fast. Hey, you want a date? As long as we're together forever! Okay. I meant, like, go get ice cream sometime, but sure! Guess we'll get married! Rain, huh? Oh, it's raining, so no fortune teller lady, then. Yo. Another ball- Oh, right, cool! Block picks, vanish balls, and the smoke screen. Who is there? Uh, it's a Fumi and a crosswood puzzle. Let's check out the qu crosswood puzzle first. Check the plant too. Necessary for dares. Fables lessons. No idea. Griffin half. What? Kind of climber. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. I thought these would help me figure out words when I first started these doing crossword puzzles. But no, they just confuse me. Necessary for dare. I don't know. Alcohol? I don't see the letters for it. Um. How many letters are there, actually? Three. Three, six, seven. Courage. I think there's, yeah. There definitely seems to be the letters for it, anyways. We'll give it a shot. Where's the U? There it is. And then rage. You need some rage to do dares. Okay, the answer is courage. A common test of courage is the entering of scary or intimidating places. In Japan, these locations often tend to be unlike graveyards and temples. 
The traditional courage testing parlor game, 100 supernatural tears grew popular amongst the samurai as a means of sharpening their nerves. All right. Wait, nice. did the samurai used to tell each other scary stories? Nice. And it worked? I don't believe you. Okay, so it's raining out. Fumi wants to hang out. Well then. Oh, hi, Ketchy. You actually scared the hell out of me for a second. What did you say? Are you the only one that wants to hang out of Fumi? Mishima. Oh, shit. You know what? Yes. We'll go hang out with Mishima. Now's a good time, right? Oh, yeah, he's important. Fumi's important. Like, Fumi actually has some decent skills, right? But... Like, what's this? Chance of follow-up attack. Yeah, that's... That's a really good skill. Mishima, though, is already ranked 3, and he can give us that, which will help us keep the backup members up the level. And... Meaning I won't have to worry about, like, swapping out party members. Like, I can just keep swapping out. It's one of the issues I had with, uh... Persona 4. It's, like, one of the few issues. I, I love that game. But... One of the issues was, like, the backup party members didn't gain experience. So, if I didn't use someone, if you watch a series, you can it's quite evident after a while, when I didn't use someone, it became obvious that I was probably never going to use them again. Um, because they were so out-leveled. Anyways, Mishima. Wow, the ring came out of nowhere. Some guy from the Phantom has even was even asking you guys to bring him an umbrella. Jeez, the Phantom Thieves aren't any kind of delivery service. So, did the request I asked you to do? Uh, so you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks. Hey, I figured out another way I could help your strategic image management representative. Help as your strategic image representative. It's a great deal for you, of course. You are free today. I mean, sure. All right, let's go. Sure, let's go. I'd have been a good time to hang out with the twins too. <laughs> <laughs> Today's my treat. Fan of these are all about fancy stuff like this, right? That's why we're here. Oh, and it's just the two of us, so don't be afraid to go all out. What do you want to eat? Uh, steak sounds great. Doesn't it? Meat's perfect for tough guys like us. Sure. By the way, this place is all you can eat, so let's make sure we get our money's worth. I've been here before, I think. Anyways, I posted on the fan site that I had connection to you guys, and the fan really ate that up. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I didn't say anything that would point to my real identity. I did end up taking, talking about how expensive it is to run over our, run our little organization, though. The donations I got after that were pretty generous, to say the least. But I guess our loving sponsors just wanted to show some support. Not bad for strategic management, huh? Uh... That sounds like a scam. What do you mean? Everyone was glad to donate if it meant supporting the Phantom Thieves. Speaking of which, the bill for our meal is here in this five places. This, yeah, to start taking advantage of that support. You see, when you say start taking advantage, that's where it comes a problem. Also, dog, like... I totally get trying to get money to, from the, the site to run the site and stuff like that. And even give yourself a little bit of money, because it is a lot of work. But... There's a limit, because you're not a Phantom Thief, for one, and two, it's kind of messed up that you're taking the donations for the Phantom Thieves. Wait a minute. I've seen on the news of, uh, that using donations for stuff other than what's pu publicized is a serious crime. Food is definitely an acceptable business expense, but can the same be said of an expensive buffet? Depends on where you work. Oh. The more I think about this whole thing, the less I think we should use the donations here. I mean, people would get mad at the politicians for using tax money for personal affairs. The same probably applies to the Phantom Thieves. I guess returning the money would be the best choice. Uh, yeah? Yeah, you're right. You can use some to, like, keep up with the website expenses, of course, and even give yourself a pay of some kind. Nothing too extravagant, obviously, but at the same time, being paid for the work you're doing is fine. But, yeah. I don't know. It is kind of scummy, because you're not a fan of Thief. You do help us, but at the same time... Yeah, we really need to make sure that we keep the image of the Phantom Thieves clean in our fans' mind. I think I'll return the money and take the Phantom for their generosity. They'll love that. 
It might be a waste of some nice resources, but it's all good as long as it boosts our popularity, right? Man, maybe I was born to do strategy stuff. I honestly pretty good at it, if you say so. Don't worry, I'm still gathering info on the form too. I actually have a few solid leads right now. Everything so far has been close to home, but there's these next ones are gonna blow your socks off. Sure. Oh, we didn't get the bat. Oh, god damn it! I thought that was the next level. All right. That sucks, Mishima. Oh. So if you're returning, if we're returning money, how are we gonna cover our mail? Mm. The flat broke. <sighs> I guess let's just go home. I mean, I could pay for it. It's fine. I mean, last time it was only like what, twenty thousand or something like that. Hey Noah, sorry for dragging you out for no reason again. As strategic image management rep for the Fantheus, I wanted to splurge a little to a little to boost morale, but I guess it ended up being pretty good for our PR in the end, right? That's one way to view it. It's all about things strategically. It was kind of rough avoiding the employees' glares on the way out, but you gotta stay positive. I mean, I could have paid for it. There's still so much I have to do for you guys. I'll work even harder. I want to be a real asset to the Phantom Thieves. Okay, bye. So Tuesday. Way too hot. I am aware. This isn't this isn't actually a request from the fan site, but a personal one. The truth is, a younger student came to consult with me about something the other day. It sounds like he's getting blackmailed at his job. Uh, so by a store manager. That uh, this is inexcusable. Right? From what he told me, the money went missing from the registry he was supposed to be in charge of. As such, he's been falsely accused of stealing money from the store, and now the manager's making him pay back the full amount. It's 500,000 yen. Uh, this seems odd? Yeah, this guy's like the most honest person I know. There's no way he'd steal all that money. And while I did some research into the store online, according to some rumors, the manager might be the one stealing the money. He's the only person who checks the registers, after all. On top of that, some other staff members saw him taking cash out when he was calculating totals. Anyways, the guy's name seems to be Nozumi Odo. I found it when I looked into the store. Please, you gotta help the student. Uh, part-time job, full-time hell. Sure. Okay. So, like, I don't have to work anywhere for that? Okay, sure. I got seven quests. I just gotta fix, fix that one. We're gonna have a lot of quests next time we go to Mementos. All right, how's the plan doing? Nice. Looks like yeah, sure. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, one damn of you second, check out some of the content. See if you're liking. But once again, thank you for watching. We all have a great day.